Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be over this look. And it's not really a look, it's just the basis of my everyday foundation routine, makeup routine. How I highlight, contour, things like that. Basically this is my first tutorial of 2019. So, well not tutorial, I uploaded yesterday, but first makeup tutorial of 2019. So happy new year. If you are new to my channel, I would like it if you could just go ahead and subscribe and check out my other videos and like them and you know uh, just check me out and if you are not new hi welcome back if you haven't already guys just go ahead and subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for more videos from me if you don't already know I created a channel with my boyfriend it is our um, couples channel and I'll link that um the link to our channel down below other than that I'm gonna get into this video which is very simple very easy to follow natural looking and yeah that's all I got so if you guys want to see how I achieve the basis of my foundation highlighting contouring um just keep on watching and I will see you in my next video bye okay hey everyone so this is how my face looks with nothing on it and it is moisturized so I'm just taking a primer and you can use any primer and I'm just going to focus it on my t-zone area which is, you know, my nose, chin, and then the center of my face. That's where I find I get the most oily. And now I'm just going to take a concealer. And sometimes I use orange corrector. Um, but this is the Maybelline. And I like it because it's similar to my skin tone. And I don't have to work too hard to cover it with my foundation. So I am blending that in with my fingers. And just making sure that I'm getting all the little dark marks. Um... And this process is important so your blemishes and dark marks don't show through your foundation and we just want it to come together seamlessly so now this is what I do all the time I'm taking the airspun powder and I am setting those concealer spots as well as focusing that in my oily spots and I find that putting this under the foundation setting it you know setting those pores makes it easier you know for me to not get oily when the rest of my face is done <laughs> so now I'm taking the collab foundation and I mixed my two this is my go-to combination and this is in Tawny and Mocha and I'm taking a real techniques beauty sponge and blending it all over and this takes time so making sure you're pushing the product into your skin and getting in those areas which is you know down the neckline and into the ears and through the forehead so the hairline uh, my hairline isn't showing but if I if it was I would push it all the way up into my hairline so after making sure this is seamless which I believe it is you got a good base we are going to start highlighting and this is a bright highlighter um, well concealer and it's Maybelline as well so you don't have to go this bright which I don't recommend for someone who's just starting out um, but I know just how this works for me so if you could take a concealer that's just a shade or two lighter than your skin tone that would work but this is pretty bright and because this is bright and I'm not going for an extra beat look um, I'm only using this concealer sometimes I do layer them but I'm just gonna use this one and this also takes time as well so I'm pressing and basically dabbing this into the skin you don't want to rush this part um, and this concealer it doesn't dry up fast so you don't have to hurry up or anything so I really like it and I feel like for beginners Maybelline's products are a great starter so as you can see this is the blended side and that's the non blended side so you can see it's gonna take a little while and you just have to you know take your time but other than that you know it's pretty simple um, the beauty blender a damp beauty blender is the best way to go and I find that with you know the foundation and concealers I don't really use brushes anymore but yeah <laughs> so after um, that I take the excess and I put it on my nose and forehead and chin so now we are going to set it so I'm taking my makeup revolution setting powder and the beauty blender again and I do this blowing thing every time I dip it like I don't want there to be any patchy marks or anything so I dip it then I blow and then I press it into my skin and I'm not just sitting it like I said I'm pressing everything in and less is more 
um, as a beginner, but you know, you get used to it and you can start building more and getting more of a, a glam, really glam face. So this is just, you know, the basis, level one and making sure that everything comes out neutral. So make sure you dab and then you blow off excess and then you put the rest, you know, onto your face. So now we are going to contour and I don't really cream contour, um, my powder contour or bronze. Um, so I'm using the Bare Minerals, you know, my go-to. I've used this for years and this is actually the same, the same product. Like I haven't re-upped on it or anything because less is more, like a little goes a long way with this stuff. It's very pigmented and it just brings back the color to our face. So adding the dimensions and I'm kind of using circular as well as padding motions. And right here I'm showing you the difference, like between no contour on that side and the color back on, you know, the left side. Um, after doing that, I'm just taking the excess, what's ever left, um, and I am, you know, just contouring my nose, so I'm running it down um, the sides of my nose and creating more dimension in the center of my face. Now I'm taking my MAC pressed powder in the color Deep Dark or Dark, I can't remember, and I'm taking this tapered e.l.f. brush, which is my favorite brush, and again, we're pressing the product as well as swiping, dusting away. So it's it's a mixture. So I'm pressing and dusting away at the same time. So, and this makes sure that the center of the face isn't powdery or just doesn't look seamless. So it's putting color back onto the, the powder um, that we placed over the concealer. And now I'm just going to set my face with the NYX um, this is the matte setting spray and setting spray is very important especially with all the powders that we use we want it to just kind of blend seamlessly and now this part is optional I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette and to me this looks more like sun-kissed so this is optional you don't have to do it but I am highlighting and placing the highlighter on um, my face, the bridge of my nose, and then on my eyebrow, my brow bone, so to give it some more pop. So after all that, I put lashes and lip gloss on, and this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.